I just logged onto my app that I got this in Africa, my African, <laughs> my African hookup app. So I'm like, I'm on the way. I just what learned some, hookup I app? just learned Raga Raga. <laughs> these niggas <laughs> oh. go ahead Craig <laughs> who, who are these niggas oh. Oh. who is it Craig can somebody please tell me who these niggas are well you can tell us let's go these are the niggas for Trump <laughs> NFT niggas for Trump <laughs> niggas for Trump when I tell you they had pulled up he had, first of all this was planned if you all don't know this story already they coordinated this and that girl who was in this in this uh picture with him hugged up uh-huh hold on let me get hold her up. back up here i got you oh. this girl right here she's a part of some uh conservative group that's led or headed by candace owens so this mm-hmm. this whole thing was like orchestrated she was like one of the people on the ground to help coordinate this this whole little meeting, right? So he goes to the Chick Fil A and he buys every, he buys thirty milkshakes for people. Mm. <clears throat> and of now, course, chicken. Now, don't now Chick Fil A do be having some nice ass milkshakes? They do. And you know what I'm saying? And if you a nigga that's real real slow on it, you will get his vote because he bought you a chicken sandwich and a milkshake. Bro, you give me that uh that that cookies and cream milkshake, right? You now? gonna vote for Trump? No, nah, nah, I wouldn't vote. Oh, for see, him. I had to catch. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I ain't gonna vote for it, right. but I'm gonna right. get me a free milkshake. Right. Look at your eyes. But I'm gonna get me a free milkshake. Mister, get crazy! Eyes. I had to see how quick he was. So he had to get him. Mo, I'll get you a milkshake. I'll get you a milkshake. Beloved, beloved, lean it, lean. Look to your children, beloved. Right. I can get you a milkshake. It's not that serious. I can get you a milkshake. <laughs> Did, did you want a did you want a vanilla one? Or? <laughs> no, I wanted the I wanted the cookies and cream one. Oh, okay. How yeah. much is that one? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I, well, I, I usually I, get actually it's about six dollars some change. Okay, I'll cash up you seven fifty, okay? Okay, no problem. Thank you. I appreciate it. Seven dollars. Right and after 50. work. <laughs> Girl, he had pulled up at that Chick fil A. <laughs> you can do it. I, I'll cash up you seven fifty. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate that, Chris. I'm gonna go there I, right after work. One. I'm gonna right. go there right after work. <laughs> I'll get you a milkshake. You can. Yeah, yeah. You can get him a milkshake. Yeah, I, I have a little spare change for a milkshake. <laughs> Girl, is that is that all it takes for him to get y'all's vote? <laughs> I did. I said I wasn't going to vote for. It. I just said you I wanted free milkshake. You see how you just proved the point? Where you just proved the point? Girl, a milkshake and a chicken sandwich. <laughs> You Girl, white folks know they they they've food. always pandered to us with food. You're right. Oh my god. They do. Instead of them giving you a raise on your job, they want to do a pizza party. <laughs> Instead of giving you a raise on your job or give you a couple of days off, they want to give you uh, oh. and they give you four extra dollars on your food stamp. Right. Oh. They're gonna buy lunch for the office. No, I don't need you to buy lunch for me. Give me the extra money. Let me do what I want to do with my money. I got a light bill that I need to pay. Oh. I don't need no motherfucking pizza. In fact, I don't even eat cheese. <laughs> they love to give a bitch a pizza oh. party. Oh, well, we want to show our appreciation. Bitch, if you want to show your appreciation to me, give me a Visa card, bitch. <laughs> With a hundred on it. Oh, great. That's what you can do. So Craig, I can pay this Georgia me. power. Craig, that took me. Oof. Right, some goddamn bagel. Craig, bagels. That took, Craig, that took me. Did okay. you call Mo that you would buy him a milk? I'll get you a milk chain. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. He over there. You over there live waiting on Trump when you, when you got your friend right. <laughs> Look in the. I didn't know. I didn't know Craig was going to have my back like that. It I don't matter. I didn't know Craig was going to have my back like that. That's why. In yeah. the word of in the word of what's the name? Baptiste. Look to your children. Right. <laughs> Look to your people. Okay. <laughs> my God. Uh, but wait, it was something when we were talking about. See, y'all, y'all be moving me too fast. I was still, I was still kind of cooking. When we were talking about the whole trans thing in the bathroom, I got to circle back real quick. I've seen things, I've seen stories that the late Sandra Bland was a transphobe. So as black queer people, because you all know I'm always fighting for black folks, 
But the challenge that some in the black queer community have is when our counterparts um, are sometimes against us. And then like in the case of a Sandra Bland, she was killed, unfortunately. But then it's like, are black queer people, in particular trans people, are they supposed to be outraged because she was, she was transphobic? Not saying that anybody would want her dead, right. but it's like, we're always quick to run to the front lines when black men and women, heterosexual black men and women are killed. But that same, it's not always reciprocal when it's somebody in the black queer community, whether it's a black trans woman or black trans man or whatever, whatever. Um, and so I've had conversations with trans people who are sometimes conflicted with how to reconcile that. Like, do, do I grieve that? Am I supposed to fight for that? You know, somebody said, where did Craig get that news from? Girl, did you want to help me or are you going to leave me out here? <laughs> girl, 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 did you want to help me or did you want to leave me out here? <laughs> What Girl, it's a mutiny, honey. They, they're trying to come and get me. Wait, Craig, I'm. <laughs> yeah. You not looked at Mo's desk yet? What? What happened? You, you... That hammer, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no, this has nothing. Batty, I had to. I was fixing something. That's why <laughs> the, the hammer is on my desk. Craig, we I was fixing something. I was fixing something. Maddie, I was fixing something. This has nothing to Craig, do. Did you see that hammer sitting over there? That day? You just not noticed that? There's a screwdriver here too. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh. so okay. This this is what we're giving. No. <laughs> Maddie, I was fixing something on my desk. I was fixing something. That's it. Y'all, it's a hammer and a screwdriver. On my, it's a big hammer. I just looked over and saw the. It's hammer. not even that big. It's big enough. <laughs> mm. He said, "We tired. I'm tired of y'all talking about Africa. When the lights go well, out, that's here, you. No, bitch, that be you too. Don't act like you don't talk about Mo when the cameras ain't on. When we be on the phone talking about Mo in Africa. Don't oh, do for real? Now, bitch, when he hit me, with oh, the for hammer, real? He better hit you. <laughs> okay, so some of y'all are getting a little ruffled in, in the okay, comments, what they say, but it's on. okay. Come on, leave her alone. No, 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 no. How dare you? What, 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 girl? What? Bring me back." What happened? Yeah, hold on. I'm trying they to... said they want a mocam. No, y'all don't want to see that over there. Because <laughs> I'm really sitting here looking at the hammer over there. Maddie, Maddie, I told you it's not and no for you. That my electrician was also messaging me too, oh. honey, telling me that he over here and da 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 da. Oh, you know. So tell me what happened really quick, because so there have been stories that have surfaced that. She was transphobic. And so my question is... Who, Sandra Bland? Yeah. She was. Oh. Yeah, she was transphobic. She said a lots and lots and lots of things. Because, like, when I, when I watched things about her, you know, I went and looked up. Looked it up, and I was like, yo, this shit crazy. And, like, some of the first sets of people that were really speaking up in a space about her were gay people. Mm. Well, because, again, as I said weeks ago... We've always been at the forefront of every major movement in this country. Black yeah. Lives Matter was founded by black queer women. Yes, it was. And here's the thing. When it comes down to stuff like that, it hurts my heart to know that some of the people that I would get out there in the streets for, picket, burn down, tear, riot, and protest for, not only would not do the same for me, but would join on the side of the people that would hurt me. Right. You know, and this is where I come when we have these types of deep con deep conversations about this stuff i've been hurt more by my own skin tone by my own people yes the crockers mm. have done that have done what they do mm -hmm. and continue to what they do and what they have done but listen to me niggas oh. <laughs> damn the niggas don't bad. make it no motherfucking better and they don't make it not that they don't make it no better but they be they will conjoin in with that to hurt me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i say all the time when you want to get a racist motherfucker and a black nigga bitch together throw in something that's against a fag 
a trainee or anything homosexual and they are as one they are you mm -hmm. they're on a united front mm -hmm. <laughs> when i saw that stuff about her i was like yo and i don't talk about her i don't mm -hmm. say I, I say rest in peace to her because i understand what happened to her was heinous mm -hmm. it was evil mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and, and, and the people that did it to her have to pay. They should pay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But also in the same breath, I can say, fuck. Laverne, we got to this because I just said we forgot to touch on this when we were talking about the trans thing. Did you miss that? Because you were so angry that I brought this up? Because I saw your comment. You said first. what exactly did she say? Go, you go, you can go, you can go look. You Google. can go, you can go see it. Like I went and saw it for myself. But the point of this, Laverne and others, is not about whether or not it's not about disrespecting her as a deceased person. The question is, critical thinkers, what happens when it's a black person who is an advocate? Um when when they have issues with people who look like them but just because they're queer they have issues so like where how do how do we as black queer people reconcile that yes i because i was one of the people that was posting saying you know that the, the cops need to be uh sent to jail da, 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 da. and it doesn't change what i posted and what i said and what i feel about it but also having the information now that when she was among the living she was transphobic and if she was transphobic it's pretty pro probably pretty certain that she was probably also homophobic right and so that's some hurtful ass shit. like that's hurtful to know that these people like these are people my people this my skin you feel me like even when the first people to remind me that I was a trans hooker, prostitute, porn actress is most definitely mine. And will try to, what is the word, Craig? Relegate well, they, they try you to, to Relegate that. me and try to minimize everything that's going on in my life right now. Mm -hmm. Like everything. Or, or, or try to minimize every single mm -hmm. thing and, and, and still revert back to, oh, what, you're porn, you're this and the other. Bitch, mm -hmm. well, according to Alexa and according to your television says, according, I don't give a fuck if it was one part, two part, three part, four, they ain't saying nothing about that. I remind, I remind y'all that that's where I come from. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I remind y'all that that's where I come from so that you, if you're in a dark place or if you're in a, or if you're in a place that people consider low, or if you're in a place where they won't, won't want to release you from that, you don't, you don't have to stay there or right. bitch that there is anything is possible anything is possible yep. the girls right now over here i don't see they don't tag me so shit. the girls right now having a fit well she's so well that well bitch you only five years ago you was a you was a prostitute you were this no i was not a prostitute five years ago sweetheart i haven't done adult films in over a decade it's unfortunate that this is these these are these are the places that y'all try to keep me in the spot but it's okay i don't need y'all for anything I don't need you to release me from anywhere because bitch, it, you know, it's, it's not for you to do. I know who I am. I know what I am and I know mm -hmm. the things that I do, but I don't do it for those types of people. Right. I do it for the people that, that are in there. Somebody that is stuck right now. There is something that's holding somebody back right now. There is something going on in somebody's life right now where they are thinking like that. This is it. This is the end. This is whatever. And this is, these are the cards of the, uh, your life could change in a moment. Mm -hmm. and your trajectory is up and i think people should really understand the way the, the way that you're showing hate to <clears throat> people and then something that doesn't go your way you want those same people to come and show up for you but what's what are you doing for those people that you want them to show up for you what what are you doing for them to make them want to show up for you like you're constantly putting people down you're constantly uh condemning or or ostracizing people but then at the same time when something doesn't go your way you want those same people to come and fight for you why should they come and fight all right you? well they should come in well here's the thing and i'm gonna say some real ass shit. i'm black still you're right i'm black still but and whether they're homophobic or transphobic or not 
I understand that it's them today and it could be me tomorrow, but they don't, but, but they don't see it that way. They don't see that it could be, it's us now, but it could be them tomorrow. And because they don't see it from that lens, they won't understand it. I see it from that lens. Because my feeling is, if you're going to fight for us, then you got to fight for all of us. If you're not fighting for all of us, then stay your motherfucking ass at home. That's yeah. the way I feel. And then when it comes to this election, <laughs> if you ain't voting for Biden, then sit your motherfucking ass at home. I understand that people who have issues with Biden and what's going on over in Palestine, but bitch, he's the lesser of the two evils. He's the lesser of the two evils. I don't, I don't get, get, want to hear nothing about all that other ignorant shit that some of y'all thinking and saying and posting. He is the lesser of the two evils. Period. And, and it's not just the presidential election that you need to be concerned with. Get your ass at these, at these, uh, local. At these local elections because it's these motherfucking judges, these motherfucking sheriffs. Whoever, whoever controls the house controls the, the And country. all of that shit. And all of you niggas and remember, I said the other week, it ain't just niggas ain't just black. It's white niggas, Asian niggas. And you white women. Correct. Because Craig, you stay on the white women. Sure do. You say those white women vote off of what? Off of white interests. <laughs> they don't vote in the interests of women. They vote in their own selfish interests, generally speaking. And see, this is the shit that the white, some of the white folks that are watching don't like to hear me say. I don't have a problem with white folks. It's the shit, it's the selfish shit that some of you do. Mm. And I'm not even saying that, and I'm not saying that people shouldn't stand up for what's right. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that we should really sit down and think like we're treated people, we're treated people unjustly. So if they turn around and say, "Man, I'm out this shit," I don't blame them. I can't blame them. I can't. I can't look at them and say, "Oh, well, they're terrible people." When the same people that they're trying to protect are wishing harm against them. And also. Those of you that plan to vote independent, you stay your ass home too if you ain't voting for Biden because that shit ain't going to happen. It's either going to be Trump or Biden. Yeah, that, that third vote is a waste. You just throwing away your vote. Yeah. And the thing is, when people say, well, you know, um, I, just, I just don't think that voting matters. No, it matters because if it didn't matter, they wouldn't be doing everything in their power to suppress your vote. Do you remember a few years ago when the uh, when there was so many people out there voting like in record numbers? It may have been, it may have been when um, Obama got in. I don't know if it was when he got in or if it was after it, when it was Hillary and Trump. I can't remember. But the bottom line is, remember when there was so many people in line, so many black people came out and voted. It was so many people in line. And they were in line for so long that there were people going out to the polls saying, please don't get out of the line. Yes. There were people coming with mm -hmm. bottles of water and snacks so you'd stay your ass in line. Uh -huh. And they would come out there with chairs. You know, they just started creating legislation where you get a fine if you bring in water and shit to somebody in the, in the line. They're trying to discourage you from voting. Well, I'm going to vote. Now, do I think that it's going to count? No. Where did it count if we all get out there and do what the fuck we supposed to do? That's true. And these shifty ass white folks, I'm not saying all of y'all. What about the shifty ass color? Because it ain't just the Them white. too, like the, that nigga we just showed at the Mo, shit for life. Mo just said that I'm going to buy him a milkshake, okay. so he ain't going to, Trump ain't getting his vote now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to buy him a milkshake. Be careful with that, because that hammer's sitting real close to the edge right now. <laughs> I, think we, I think we need to scale back. Ah! Oh, God. Oh God! <laughs> I wouldn't do that to y'all. I love y'all. I, I know do you do, but I got a hammer over here too, bitch. Okay. It's not my hammer, though. It don't yeah, matter. Yes, and these and, 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 and these um, Cuban Americans and some of you Hispanics too that think you white down there in Florida. Right, they're gonna have your goddamn grandmother and your uncles and shit sent away. <laughs> you play if you want to. And your children. And your children. <laughs> right down there to the border. You keep on thinking he think he care about you. <laughs> right. 